Hello guys, um, right, I thought I'd do another video, um, you may have seen a new video I've done, um, regarding an old, um, Canon 1D, uh, Mark II N, um, camera, and I've got it here. Um, so, it's an old camera you can pick up from eBay for about £200, maybe 300 depending on the condition and typically it might have 150,000 pictures shot on it um, and it's good for 200,000 um, so I bought this and I didn't have the best of experiences with it it's a good camera don't get me wrong it's, it's professional grade it's solid um, it can take 8.5 frames per second um, lots of JPEGs and RAW pictures. I think the limit I got to was around 16 uh, JPEG, uh, RAW images in one go. And it's a good camera. Um, the only problem was it's got a problem with the uh, shutter for some reason. Um, basically, when I go from 1,000th of a second up to 8,000th of a second, as I tend to go out to the airport sometimes and take pictures of aircraft. Uh, you've probably some, seen some of those videos that I've done recently. Um, I get some sort of leakage of light coming through the shutter. Now this is a problem you may experience with second hand old cameras. So I just wanted to do a video on that just to make everyone aware of it. Um, what has been happening is um, it's like a half eyebrow, like so, underexposed. So it's like a pattern coming down like this. Um, and I'll show you some examples. That's a problem if I want to take pictures and sell them on or put them on a website. Um, it doesn't look professional if you've got a problem with your pictures. So obviously I'm going to try and send this back to the seller on eBay. Um, already he's uh, not being forthcoming in terms of uh, un being understanding. Um, he says he did some wedding pictures and there wasn't a problem. Um, the problem is uh, this sort of issue only tends to show in your images at shutter speeds that are extremely high. So. In a bright sunny day, um, you know, blue skies, taking pictures of aircraft, I was hitting shutter speeds of 2,000, 4,000, 8,000 of a second. And that this problem with the shutter shows up at those shutter speeds. Um, as soon as you start coming down, because light is a occlumative, um, and basically the more light you have, it sort of obscures any problems you might have with shutter um, problems, basically. So, in hindsight, obviously, um, it's going to have to go back. Um, hopefully the seller will take it back. Um, but I just wanted to make you aware that um, you can have problems with um, issues with shutters, especially on older cameras. Um, so this is the Mark II N, which is considered still a quite good camera it's 8 megapixels obviously it's not to the standard of 18 and 24 the current um, resolutions excluding the 5DS obviously that that camera has 50 megapixels um, but unfortunately um, the, the shutter is faulty now it's probably not worth taking this to a, a shop and getting that shutter repaired but I just wanted to do a video just to talk about this being a potential issue with all the cameras um, that obviously it's not worth to actually take it back to a shop and, and get the shutter replaced because after a while Canon stops supporting all the cameras anyway. So uh, also availability and parts is one thing as well, you know. Uh, it's like Sigma did uh, re-chipping of their older Sigma lenses so they would work on modern day digital SLRs until they run out of chips then they said we can't do that service anymore because we've got no more parts 
The same with Canon, they stopped making parts after a while. The same if you've got a Ford car, you know. So, yeah, just be careful um, when you buy a camera, test it out first, um, and then if there's an issue, you can send it back to them if you buy off eBay or Amazon. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.